Welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. I'm home editing this video, and I just realized I did not film an intro for this hunt. So, in this video, we are going to Wyoming, and I have three antelope tags. I have two doe tags and a buck tag, and I'm hunting with my dad. So, uh, last year, we hunted in Wyoming, and we drew the same tag. So, I had two doe tags last year and a buck tag, and this year, I got super lucky, and I just drew the exact same tag. So, hope you guys enjoy this hunt. We just got to our antelope spot. Look at that. <laughs> what the heck? All right, we just got camp set up. We got my cot, my dad's cot. Got a ice chest full of food or freezer that we're gonna put the antelope meat in for the drive home. Um, this is our setup. We've just got some cots some nice floor mats another ice chest with ice our clothes some camera gear gun some other stuff a bunch of snacks and stuff in there some good stuff in there and this little cooker that cooks us good meals once we made a game plan for the next day, we decided we'd wake up early and try and get both my doe antelope tags filled first and then spend the rest of the day trying to get a good buck. We spotted a good buck the evening before when we drove in, and it was in season. It was already opening day when we drove in to set up camp, but we decided to just not shoot him and hurry and go set up camp. That way we could just be done with camp while it was still in daylight, which I eventually regretted. <sighs> Have it in there. We'll be ready for antelope blasting. Yesterday, there's this little drainage just like a hundred yards in front of me, just down there over this little hill right here. There was a buck and a doe in it, so I think we're just gonna drive down there and probably shoot the doe and then keep driving and shoot a couple more does or one more doe after that. We haven't even left camp yet, and there's an antelope. There's three of them. There's a buck. A small buck. 630. Do we want to shoot one of those or try and find one closer to the road? Well, I think we try and find one closer to the road. Let me look down the valley. Let's just keep driving. 630 yards. Back on the road. <clears throat> That razor that drove by him, I think they might have scared all those antelope away, so. Are you gonna go with me? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna spot it. No, I'll just you leave the spotting scope. You don't want the spotting scope on it? No. Oh, she's already running. Yeah, there's two. See, I don't think it's gonna be. There's a buck with her. Yeah, that's the same ones that were there yesterday. That, that little young buck? Yeah. Why don't we just drive up there and we'll just walk over that hill and look over and then I'll shoot one of the other does too. Because we can just drag that doe. Oh no, they're probably gone. Oh, they're running back. Yeah, that buck wants that doe to be right there. He's trying to breed her. Here, let's just walk in that creek ditch. We're gonna stay down here lower so they don't see us over the top. Just be 50 yards on the 
There's a little grass. Okay. Ready? Can't zoom anymore. Get her. She's down. Yeah, I know. Young bucks. Those are both young bucks. They're fighting. What? They're fighting. Are either of them decent? No. Not shoot. Where'd that other doe go? Went off the top of the hill. Okay. Wait. So there's another doe, but she's... Do you want to try and get one closer than her? Let me arrange her. She's out there a ways. Well, I'm saying to like get it back to the truck. Do we want to try and get one closer? There's 533. That's her. Do you want to try and take her? Do we want to? You can, if you want. She's right by the road, isn't she? Well, the road's over. I kind of... Well, that white truck and trailer is our camp. We woke up this morning and we've got antelope right here by our camp. I just shot a doe, she's dead right there. There's a small buck walking across the hill. That doe's dead right there. Where's the doe up there? She's not right there, she's right above. Just drive it up and then hike over there. Oh yeah, you gutted her. Look at that. 
you hit the back corner of the uh, headquarters. Oh, that's the entrance, I think. Oh, well, maybe not. No, that's the exit. Well, we woke up this morning, stepped out the door of the camp, pulled our binoculars up, and there's a group of antelope just, I don't know, six, seven hundred yards away from our camp. So we decided to drive down the road and put a stock on them. And I filled one of my two doe tags. Now we're going to keep driving around and look for another doe and see if we can't find a nice buck here in an hour or so. That didn't take long. I didn't shoot the doe that I thought I was going to shoot the the first, well, right as soon as we walked out the door, we saw this herd like 700 yards away. And I didn't really want to shoot him because I didn't want to have to pack him back to the truck or have to drag him back to the truck. So we are going to try and find some closer to the road. And then we ended up finding some, that small buck and doe maybe probably 300 yards off the road so as soon as we got the gun out they instantly just like took off and then we just decided to keep hiking after them antelope aren't very big it's not like an actual hard pack out or anything so we decided to put that little stock on them that buck and doe ended up going out probably a thousand yards away and we peeked up over this little hill where we had seen the previous herd of antelope from camp. And they were like 330 yards, 350 yards, and I schwacked myself a doe. So we got one doe tag filled, and yesterday we saw a decent buck that made all those bucks look tiny, so I think we're gonna drive over there and probably shoot another doe on the way over there and then see if that buck's still there and someone else hasn't shot him since the herd that i shot my doe out of was the one a little bit close to our camp i'm walking back to the truck and i'm gonna drive the truck all the way back to camp and then from there we'll just carry the doe over and it'll be a lot closer than packing it all the way back to the truck so it was actually would have been better if we just opened the door of our camp and walked straight over to him and just shot one of them but i don't know i guess i got lazy this morning i was sleepy and i didn't want to have to pack her drag a doe very far all right we're all done with this antelope or Hiking back to the truck and we spotted another herd just 500 yards away that has four or five does in it. You know, we're gonna take this back over, get the generator started, and get this meat frozen, and then we're gonna put a stock on that herd and see if I can't get one of them. All right, we got the generator going going into that freezer about ready to head out there's another herd just right there in that light colored grass so i don't know we'll probably just walk over here a couple hundred yards and shoot one of the does and then i'll probably drive back over to that spot that's clear on that other side over by that other hill and try and get that good sized buck we saw
So it'll be like 400 yards away. This one to the right. Yeah. Right. She just put her head down and she's turned to the right now. Oh yeah, she's sitting down. She's bent it down. Pick the one behind her. Then. Wait, she's bent it down. So you're saying the one that's walking with his head down from right to left? Yep. You got a scold? Yep. Get on her. You ready? Yep. You're filming her? She's yep. got her head down? Yep. Good shot her. What? She's looking up. Gut shot her. She's yeah, down. Just went down. Did you spot her where she went down? Yeah. Still on her? Yeah. There she is. Okay. She's a good doe too. She's a bigger though. Yeah. Mm. Two does down. Now we just gotta find you a buck that's worth shooting. Yeah. Huh? That's a lot. Is that bigger than the other one or no? Actually, I don't think so. The closer one looked kind of small. Yeah, it did. It was a little fawn. 
Well, here's this other doe. We just finished up with that first doe and we drove down the road just a couple hundred more yards from camp and ended up putting a stock on this doe and got 320 yards from it and I shot him. I didn't make a perfect shot, but we got him. She was on the other side of those green bushes. There you go. Right along that seam right there. And then you cut. Throw that. Yep. All right, we just got that dough cleaned up. We're walking back to the razor. We're gonna take it back to camp, put it in the freezer, and now we just need to find a good buck so we'll probably head back over to where we spotted that buck yesterday afternoon and probably go from there what do you think of the hunt so far been going good been shooting straight been packing meat so we got two in the freezer and it's not even lunchtime. so let's go find that buck and get him done and we'll be on the road first thing tomorrow morning I don't think that's him though. It might be him. We're gonna have to just walk over there. Yeah. I think it is him. You wanna take a 500 yard shot? Sure. If we can get a little closer, then I'd prefer that. That way we make sure we kill him, but. I think we'll. You'll be able to do a 500 yard shot. I think I can pivot still. You good? Yep. That's all those does. Mm -hmm. There's a buck right here. You don't walk. You're not looking. You almost 
go six inches above his ears. They hook back in. So his ears are probably After deciding that buck was too small, we decided to hop back in the razor and go up to a good vantage point where we could try and spot another bigger buck. We're just there's the road they're right down in there it looks like a decent one and came back over here and I think that's him ran back over by the other bucks. Oh, my foot. I still look at him. <laughs> and then, well, let's just quickly run and look at him, and then we'll just drive over to that other See him? Yep. So just walk straight out to this point. That's going to take away 120 yards. It would be 450. Alright, long story short, we couldn't really get a good shot at that buck because he just kept running away and I'm not really going to take a shot at an antelope that's 700 yards running away obviously. So then we just decided to get in the razor and just drive after him because, I don't know, we just didn't really have anything else better to do and there was hunters literally like everywhere watching him and so we're basically just trying to beat those hunters to the antelope. Stay on him. He just walked to the left. Yeah. 
back around the bottom left. Oh, there's a buck down on the left as well. That's him. He went around the back. He popped back up. He yeah, he's got his head down feeding. Yeah, yeah that's him. Looks like younger buck down below. All right. We just spotted the big buck again. And we're putting a stock on him. We just put a stock on him a minute ago. And we couldn't get a good shot on him, so we just watched where he went. Brush patch up there? Yeah. And from that sagebrush patch, that buck that it got away from us, he's just right. You see the light grass patch up there? Yeah. He's sitting in it. Hit him right in the ass, he's down. Reload, reload. Oh, you hit just above him. Oh, you hit just above him. Go on his neck. Should I just get closer? No. Nope. I don't got a shot. Just wait. I'm going to see if he can stand back I up. shot him right in the shoulder. No, you just over his back. Look for him to see if he can stand back up. Hold on. No, you just over his back. Get another clip. He's not going anywhere. You broke his legs. Get another clip. He's not going anywhere. You broke his legs. Holy crap, watch out for these other ones. Yeah. I gotta get closer to them. Just watch him. I'm watching him through the scope. That's that turd. He's dead. His head's down. I'm watching him, see if his ears twitch. He's just, his ears are barely moving or twitching. <laughs>
Look at his tips, they're white. Dude, he's in stuff. Yeah. That's the one. See that? He's heavy, isn't he? He's got good bases. Yeah. Do you see this? Look at this, he's got these nubbies coming off all the sides. <laughs> see his tips? Come look at his tips, they're see-through. Look yeah, at look that. Look how old they are. See? And it's fairly fragile, it looks like. They get thin right here, feel that? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, he hooks way back. That's a cool butt, dude. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the one we were looking at the first night. Yeah, I think it is too. Took a little look in the glass. He's got a hole in his horn on this side. Look at this. Look. See that hole right there? Yeah. Elevation wise, it's spot on. I think our windage is just off. We'll have to go to a range. And we're about 100 yards. Because I put it right right there. You did? Yeah. That wind pushed your bullet. Because that wind is blowing this direction. Mm -hmm. So. But it's still at that distance, it should only move to like that much. Maybe. You think? So. Do I want to keep them? Hell yeah. Well, do you want to? Do you want to mount I think that? so, yeah. Okay, let's mount that antelope. That is a stud. Look at his um, mohawk. This? Yeah. Oh. We'll have to be real careful. Okay, so let's get some pictures and then let's get taped out before it gets too bad. Okay. Well, we woke up this morning and just a few hundred yards from our camp, filled both my doe tags, and we stuck it out, passed on some decent sized bucks, and ended up getting this nice buck. He's got good mass, good nice hooks on the back, he's got some nice white tips. It was 560 yards. It was our second stock on him, we put a stock on him over there, ended up not working out. We watched him, came around, went down in a little draw, and snuck up on him. Not completely, no. We can get meat off that stock. Back strap, right? Okay. Well, we saved most of that. Let's see. Hold okay. this down. Yep. Alright, we just finished cleaning up this antelope. There's not much left of him. Just some legs and a skeleton and a pile of blood. It's getting dark, so we're gonna hike back to the razor and go eat a hot dinner. How does that sound? Heck yeah. Let me pick up some steak. We got antelope steak. Yeah, back we can in the eat chest. antelope tenderloin from last year. Yep.
I'm gonna put on my sweater for the ride back because it's gonna be cold. Yeah, it's gonna be a cold ride. I just got my tacos made. We got antelope tenderloins, um, cheese, tomatoes, avocado, um, lettuce, some mild Taco Bell hot sauce, and some tortillas that a cowboy made us. A uh, Hispanic cowboy. <laughs> His name was Juan. Juan made us tortillas. Oh, my tortillas. Well, he was in the bath. Wasn't it? He was. He was in the bath. These things look delicious. It's nice to not having the top bunk because when they hit. We just woke up. Well, not just. We woke up at friggin' 5:30, 5:45 a.m. So we could get packed up because we've got a 15-hour drive back to Washington, and we want to make it back today. So we got up early and we're headed back now. On the way back, I'm gonna keep an eye out for coyotes and whatever, whatever other, I don't know, little squirrels or something I see, but. Those coyotes better stay clear of the roads. Well, I hope you guys liked that video. I really don't think that we ended up killing the buck that we were after. I mean, they kind of look similar. They're both pretty tall, but I think the one we saw the day before was a lot taller than the one I actually got. Um, but either way, the buck I got, I am plenty happy with him. He's a pretty dang good one. He's definitely my best antelope I've ever gotten. If you guys have any questions, you can comment them, and I'll try and respond to them as fast as I can. Um, if you guys want to see some of my other hunting and fishing content, um, I'll put my Facebook and Instagram right here. You guys can go follow me and look at my other stuff I post. I will probably start uploading a lot more um, waterfowl hunting videos now that we're kind of halfway through the waterfowl season, and I've got some footage built up, so keep an eye out for that. See you on the next video. Oh, you hit him right in the ass, he's down.